So this video is about the rule of nines. In this video, we'll be, we will be discussing what is the rule of nines, how to use it, and we're going to go through some example questions that are going to really teach you how to effectively apply it. So what is it? Basically, it's a tool that uh, helps a nurse or doctor estimate the amount of surface area that has been uh, burned or affected by a burn for a patient. Uh, it, this information is important because it aids in fluid resuscitation calculations and it can also be used for uh, hospital policies. It is important to remember that it only applies to second and third degree burns and um, the way of calculating it is different for adults and for children. In this video we'll only be discussing adults. So how do you calculate or basically how do you use the rule of nines? and the most important thing you can remember is that there are 11 sections plus the groin. 11 of those sections are worth 9. 11 times 9 is obviously 99% plus the 1, that's 100. And the biggest tip I can give you is to uh, look at your body during the test and that's going to be the ultimate cheat sheet for you. So let's go through the sections. Basically, before any question, if you're unsure, count and make sure you get to 11 sections plus the 1%. If you do that, you're most, most likely going to get the question right. So let's start uh, from the top and head down to the bottom. So the top, this is worth 9%. The top of your head, 9%. It's uh, easy to remember. Um, your arms, each of your arms, that's another 9%. So now we have three sections, one, two, three. Now your torso, it gets a little bit complicated. So basically it's important to remember that um, it's basically divided into four quadrants. So you have the front, your chest, which is one unit, your abdomen, which is another, and then you're gonna divide the back into top and bottom as well. So you have your upper back, and then you have your lower back as well. So let's count from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we're missing four in order to get to 11. And basically where that four comes from is the legs. It, um, the legs, each of your legs is worth double of your arms. And think about it, if you're writing a test and you're, you're just not uh, adding up to 11, just remember that your legs are worth double than your arms. They're double the size. It makes sense. That like, unless you're a mutant, this will, this will help you remember that your legs are double the value of your arms. So you're going to have your upper leg, your lower leg, and the upper and the lower. So, and th this can vary slightly, but in general, you're going to be able to figure it out from the question. So, so let's count again one more time. Head, arm, arm, upper chest, abdomen, upper back, lower back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's ninety-nine. And then this is your uh, you are uh, extra one percent, and that uh, that adds up to one hundred. So here's a practice question. Let's try to run through it. So a 43 year old male sustains third degree burns from a gas explosion. He sustains burns to the entirety of his legs. Here's one part. Anterior aspect of his chest. And abdomen. As well as his groin. So what percentage of the body is affected? All we have to do is calculate the amount of sections that have been affected and then multiply by nine pretty much. So let's do it. So first off, entirety of, of his legs. So we know that the legs are doubled in the arms. Each of your arms is nine. So each of your legs is going to be in total 18. So we have 18% and 18%. Or you can remember that as four units of nine. So 18 plus 18 we have. Now what's next? Uh, the anterior aspect of his chest. So anterior meaning front, 
that's going to be this part right here. Next part, his abdomen. There you go. That's another part. And then his groin, which is one. All, groin is always 1%. So let's calculate the amount of sections that are affected. So each leg is worth 2. We'll divide it in half. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus your, uh, your groin. So if you do 6 times 5 or, or 6 times 9, that gives you 54 plus 1, that's 55. So let's, let's double check these calculations. And here you go. Uh, 18 times 2, because each leg is worth 18%, or 2 units of 9. Multiply that by 2, because it's the entirety of his legs. And there, that, that explains that. And then you have the, your chest, which is worth 9. Abdomen, worth 9. Groin, worth 1. Add that all up, and you get a total of 55%. Let's uh, try another one. Okay, so let's run through another practice question. Okay, a 33 year old female sustained second degree burns after a campfire accident. She has burns on her arms, anterior aspect of her face, and upper anterior portion of her chest. What percentage of her body has burns? So let's take a look at the cheat sheet. And it's it's not really a cheat sheet because you're going to have this, you're gonna be able to bring your body into the test. You have to write it somehow. So you can just look at your body, calculate the 11 areas plus your groin, and you know where all the uh, sections are. So basically you just run through the questions and add it up. So let's get started. She has burns on her arms. So we have one unit, that's nine, and that's another nine. Anterior aspect of her face. And this is where it gets kind of complicated. Uh, basically what, what the important thing to remember is that um, sections can be split in half. So if somebody says lower portion of your legs, it's going to be nine and nine so you it's not going to be the entire 18 it's going to be nine and nine if it's only half the head it's going to be half of nine because that's one unit if it's gonna if it's a uh, half of your left arm it's going to be half of nine it's you so you can you can split sections and that's pretty much as complicated as it gets so we're going to have a unit of nine but we're going to divide that by two and then what else anterior aspect of her face, upper anterior portion of her chest. So basically this part right here. So we have one, two, three and a half. So let's look at the calculations. So you have two arms, that gives you 18. You have half of the face or uh, head, I should say, not face, head. And that's going to be 4.5. And then obviously you have your chest which is up there, that's gonna be nine, add that all up, and it's 31.5% uh, of her body has been, has been burned. That's pretty much it, that's pretty much all there is to know. If you have any questions, comment below. And um, I will be doing a, a pediatric version of this video because it is different for adults and for, um, for pediatric clients because their surface area proportions are different than adults. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week.